The period between 1986 and 1994 was a dark one for the community of Mitchell's Plain and others on the Cape Flats. The bodies of 22 young boys were found buried in shallow graves and it was believed that a serial killer was on the loose. Norman Afzal Simons, a primary school teacher, was arrested in 1994 and convicted on only one murder charge, that of 10-year-old Alwe van Rooyen. At the community meeting arranged by Correctional Services, van Rooyen's family expressed their dissatisfaction with the prospect of Simons' discharge from prison. It's almost 30 years ago and you know what, my family is very, very, still very traumatic about this whole case. I'm not really happy. I'm not really happy because I can't be happy when my heart is not ready for that. Really, I can't be happy. The parole of Simons is an emotive one. Community policing forums, civil society organizations and affected communities have strong views on the parole system and his release. Others believe he did his time and deserves a second chance. I'm happy that he's going to be released. I'm also happy that um, he's not going to be walking the streets. He's going to be under house arrest. So uh, it will give him another chance to slowly reintegrate uh, into society. But it will also give him a chance to, to apologize to the community for the trauma that he's put him through. At the same time, like you said, there's 21 other cold cases. And I would urge the state to take up, to reopen those cases, investigate those cases. Up till today, Norman also never uh, acknowledged uh, uh, or plead guilty to the charge that he was found, found guilty of. Correctional Services says Simons will be under 24-hour house arrest and will be visited by Correctional Services officials eight times per month. He will remain on parole for life, but if found to fall foul of the strict conditions, he will be taken back to jail. The department says it was given a date of the 23rd of July for his possible release, but that it's still consulting Simons and his caregivers. He did not apply for parole. He was eligible for parole. All life was after 25 years. The CMC must uh, submit their parole profiles to the NCCS which must process those and then submit them to the minister for consideration. So his first uh, profile was submitted when he completed 25 years. But the minister at the time did not approve that he must be placed out. He suggested that he must do further programs, which programs he did and then when the profile was resubmitted, it was only then that the minister then approved. Simons will reside in the Belleville Magisterial District upon parole and will not be allowed to leave the area. Another community engagement on his parole is due to take place in Paro later this week. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.